So, moved to Las Vegas 10 years ago from New Jersey. The Garden State, don't you love that? The Garden State. Apparently someone's neglected to tend this garden for the past 50, 60 years. <laughs> it is now the brown and crumbly state. Says so on those special license plates. Folks back east can't believe I live in Las Vegas. Somebody has to live there, you know? They really can't believe I live in the desert. That's like, ooh, that blows their mind. That's exotic. They don't know anything about the desert, so you can tell them anything when they ask dopey questions about it. Ooh, I hear it's hot there. Yeah, but it's a dry heat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hear it rains a lot, too. Yeah, but it's a dry rain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, do you gamble a lot more? Uh, no, but I gamble in different ways. For instance, I now buy meat at the dollar store. <laughs> they got some crazy stuff at the dollar store. So the other day I bought a Yankee candle, I brought it home, I lit it, it smelled like Reggie Jackson. <laughs> I got doggy ice cream. Ice cream for dogs. This is a dumb idea. I had nothing to do with it. Tastes terrible, by the way. <laughs> ice cream for dogs. Save your money. They already have ice cream for dogs. It's called ice cream. <laughs> it's good enough for me. It's good enough for the dog. It's not like he's got a waistline to worry about. He's not even wearing pants. <laughs> he's not as often as I'd like him to. You know, there's a chain of dollar stores called Dollar General, which also sounds like a really terrible hospital. <laughs> Do not get the transplant at Dollar General. You get a CAT scan there, they use a real cat. <laughs> Pulled into a place called Family Dollar. There was a big old ugly family in the parking lot having an argument. I couldn't help but listen in. Turns out not one of them remembered to bring the family dollar. <laughs> That'll put a crimp in your shopping day, let me tell you. There's a dollar store near my house called Everything's a Dollar, so one day I walked in, put a dollar down on the counter, backed the truck up to the front, and loaded everything in. <laughs> I am now the proud owner of a truckload of crap from China. I'm thinking of starting my own dollar store now. I'm thinking of calling it crap from China. <laughs> or maybe each thing's a dollar. I paid attention in English class. <laughs> they got a strange idea of what constitutes entertainment in Las Vegas, I'll tell you that much. Got a lot of those escape rooms now. Anybody do the escape room, say yeah. yeah. In case you don't know what an escape room is, this room where they lock you in a room with a bunch of strangers and you all got to get together and figure out how to get out. Anybody who thinks this is entertaining has never done jury duty. <laughs> Las Vegas is now home to the world's tallest Ferris wheel. They don't call it a Ferris wheel, they call it observation wheel. Who named that? That's not fun. Yeah. 55 stories tall. Just what you want in the middle of the Nevada desert. You want to be 550 feet closer to the sun. 30 minutes for one complete rotation. They call it the high roller. I like to call it the rotisserie. I paid 50 bucks. I feel like a 7-Eleven hot dog. See this a lot walking around the casinos. You see a gorgeous girl accompanied by her two somewhat less gorgeous girlfriends. I like to call that change for a 20. It's a 10 and two fives. If it's a wedding party, it's a 10 and five and five ones. <laughs> Apparently the schools in Las Vegas are terrible. But I don't own a home, I don't pay taxes, I don't have any kids, so I don't care. <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not. I will say this. 
There's an elementary school near where I live that has student parking. So something's going horribly wrong there. Apparently it's tough to teach math. I say this because I went to the grocery store the other day, out front with a bunch of these big ceramic pots. One sign, one sign, all it says is 50% off. So I walk in, I ask the young lady, I say, what's the regular price of these ceramic pots? She looks at me and she says, 100%? <laughs> oh, I'm the dumb one. <laughs> I'm Brian McKim. Thank you for watching my Dry Bar Comedy Special. Don't forget to download the Dry Bar Comedy app onto your smartphone. And don't forget to use the promo code Brian McKim. That's Brian McKim, M-C-K-I-M. Thank you.